a criminal, terrorist, genocidal state that has no place in the civilized world. The crimes that it has committed over the last year are truly unspeakable. There are no words to describe the cold-hearted, premeditated mass murder of men, women and children and a systematic attempt to destroy the Palestinian people. These are among the greatest crimes against humanity that have ever been committed. But they can only, they can only occur because of the support that is given to the criminal Israeli regime by the United States, by the European Union and by Western governments who are up to their necks in, the, in complicity and in the blood of murdered Palestinians.
Jewish people about their real involvement in the crimes that Israel is committing against the Palestinian people. And all because they want to stay in with the United States and with governments like the German government who are the second biggest providers of arms to this criminal regime. So friends, we have to expose these people in the coming weeks as we head towards the election. There is no doubt the vast, vast majority of people in this country stand with the Palestinians. They want to see these sanctions. And this is why the Irish government are speaking out of both sides of their mouth, because they are afraid of this movement on the streets. So we have to use this time to say to anybody who knocks on your door, we want to pledge that you will not participate in any government that does not immediately pass the Occupied Territories Bill into law, Ex expel the Israeli diplomatic mission and ambassador from this country, expel the US military from Shannon Airport, end the transport of weapons to Israel through Irish airspace, end the sale of Israeli war bonds through uh, the Irish Central Bank, and beyond that, to break all ties, economic, diplomatic, political, with this criminal regime until the occupation is ended, until apartheid is dismantled, and until Palestine is free from the river to the sea. And let me just conclude with this. As we head into this election, people will think, well, we've got to concern ourselves, and rightly so, with the housing crisis, with the crisis in our health service, with the cost of living and all these issues. But we should remind people of the words of the Manic Street Preacher song. If you can tolerate this, your children will be next. And that is the truth. Because if our government is willing to stand by, or worse, be complicit, with the mass slaughter and ethnic cleansing of Palestinian people, can anybody truly believe they care about ordinary people in this country either, or that they won't be lining up to drag us into NATO and send our sons and daughters out to fight in future wars for the warmongers of Europe or the United States. There is no doubt they will do this. So this this is an issue for us. The road to Jerusalem leads through Dublin. It leads through London. It leads through Paris. It leads through New York. The liberation of Palestine is about the liberation of humanity from barbarism. That's what we're fighting for. And let's make our voice heard. Oh, and don't forget, if you're not registered, you have to register by Tuesday. Fianna Fáil and Fine Gael's people will vote. The young people, the people who believe in common decency, have to get out and vote and make your voice heard in this election. Free Palestine!